it just dawned on me I did that tool offset before it shouldn't cut on the first pass through which means that this thing is out further than it was before so uh, um, so I must have done that backwards I guess we'll go in and do a tool adjust again so oh yeah of course it's I did it backwards um because I told it the offset let me think here I needed to tell it since it made the hole too big um it thought the offset was smaller and it had to move it farther to cut so I went the wrong direction it was uh 0.97 I went 7 thou uh is that what I needed? I don't remember now. Well, anyway, it's... I don't know what the deal is here with... Um, why I can't uh, change that sometimes. In and out a couple, ah, got me. Uh, so 0 0.97, negative, 97. Do I want to go up? I'm trying to remember what I had. Oh, um, all I have to do is measure the last part, right? And the last part was nine thou too big. Yeah, nine to eight thou too big. Yeah, eight thou. Okay, so let's change that to point nine seven seven. Let's see how it goes from there. Um, now we'll see how it works in here. Oh, and. Uh, just like melting butter in a cat's ass. Got that off Mike Crum. <laughs> Friend of mine the military way back. That is, I, I love that. Man, that's just exactly where I wanted it. So, now the question is, does it go on the uh, spindle? Let's check. Yeah, there we go. See that? That's, that's interior diameter. Or interior surface. Because DOM isn't as uh, concentric as you would think. So, uh, it didn't even cut that part. Because thing is, I ordered this uh, DOM and the interior diameter is really close. And if it's off at all, then you end up with that. Uh, so what I ended up having to do before when I was making these was uh, had to grab it by the interior bore, basically. Spin the outside. Uh, so that then I could grab here and it would be concentric with the center as, as opposed to trying, you know, because then if the outside, the outside's got a lot of meat to come off okay uh, so it could it could go around like that all it wanted being you know, out of, con out of uh, concentricity but the center I certainly don't want to have to do that too many times and if you think about it, you know, as it goes through the, the whole tube of DOM you know, it probably ebbs and flows and wanders a bit um, and so I could have three feet of tubing that does this. Well, as I was just talking to you, I've been grabbing it by the outside here. Um, and, you know, it just dawned on me that, as I was saying, you know, just a second ago, I should, I need to grab it by the inside. Well, here's the thing. You know, if I go ahead and grab this by the inside, okay, I can then cut this whole outer edge and considering there's a slight step on the jaw there you know I could take it right down and and cut to the end there I just wouldn't be able, I wouldn't be able to put a bevel but I could cut the final diameter there so then my interior my ID this OD and this OD would all be perfectly concentric and when I turn it around um, really all I have to do is 
basically face it to the to the length I want, cut the radius, and then put a chamfer on there just to break the. Uh, I don't even have to chamfer that. No, nice. Just have to make sure I deburr the edge. I already did on this one. And so since this one's already done like this, I can cut air uh, with it and see. Yeah, and I can actually tweak this code to extend all the way to here. Yeah, I like that. I can actually come in here and find out exactly where that clearance is. Okay, so that's 0.3827. So let me back up a bit here. 0.3827 and the step the step 0.3827 and the step is 0.34 so uh, 0.3827 minus 0.3411 equals, I've got a window of 40 thousandths there. So I can go off the edge of the material. I could actually even do a little plunge there to break the, uh, uh, break any burr. Hey, something had just dawned on me. Um, I was getting ready to put the uh, boring bar in. I now have pieces that come in deeper. Um, so if I were to leave the depth the same, basically I could increase this one. I need to decrease the internal bore um, <clears throat> to make sure that I don't just crash into those jaws, which is what was coming if I didn't... Uh, do that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm so stupid. These jaws are not the ones I'm trying to clear. I'm trying to clear the inner ones that are way up there. Now, this isn't a part that's finished or anything like that, or getting finished even. So let's just do this. <laughs> uh. Close enough. 0.63, yeah, so the 0.625, yeah. Okay. So, 0.7 will give me more than 50 thou clearance. But what I'm going to leave there, uh, it'll be right at the blend on the back side when I do this. Okay. So, now I need to go in and on that internal bore, I need to change those like I did the other one. internal bore is after the tool change here, so it was going into 0.46. Okay, there's the rapids to get it close. Uh, 1.23, that's, uh, you know, setting the first diameter. So 0.46, so I need to change that to 680 at least. Let's change it to, uh, yeah, let's change it to 0.68. Oops, no point, dumbass. I uh, don't need the return either. Okay, 0.68. Let's copy that. Uh, so the Z, there's a rapid back out. Here's the G1 cut in. Here's the 
other G1 cut in. And the final one. Okay. Now, 0.88 and 0.68. Let's watch them this time and see what the hell happens. Okay, it stayed the same. Ah, but I hit rewind and it changed because now it's back up to tool zero or tool one. Okay, I can live with that. Well, apparently that was too close. If I include the crash that just broke the uh, insert off the boring bar, uh, this is why I... Uh, this is the, the first line on the boring path, tool path, and you can see this red line running off here. Well, I changed how deep it would go by shortening it, but I didn't catch this rapid move that cleared. Originally it was over here and it came back at an angle. Well, since I moved its stop point to here, I missed that, which is this culprit right here. So, Z06, so if I go into the, all the way down to the bottom where that is, and instead of uh, 6 8, which is where it stops anyway, I want to take it to like. Uh, Let's say seven five. Um, the other ones went straight up. Oh, there is no other rapid. That's the only one that has a rapid because the others are like the final moves. So I could change that one, but it's uh, you know it's like these over here where that final one comes out straight to uh, clean up the wall. I get to double check that I didn't lose any steps. I don't think so. I think it just jammed and broke it. Try to try it again. I really wish I could understand or figure out how to do that uh, from here because it's boring as hell to go through and wait for uh, this thing to cut air on that same part over and over again. Alright, something else I want to edit too. I just got done getting it set back up here but uh, uh, the rapids. Okay, it, it runs this one in first. It runs Z in first instead of uh, X. And I'd like it to go the other way just because it's always kind of hairy to watch it, you know, <laughs> run to, like to the outside of the part and then go X and go in. Uh, so let's just uh, move that up there. We'll Okay. Um, you know, and if I put the Z up on this line, it would move at an angle, uh, which would be a little more expedient, too. Yeah, so let's try that. Okay. So we'll save that and we'll see what the toolpath looks like now. So I fixed that. That was a very important part to fix. Okay, and so here we'll run in at an angle, which is way, way inside of where it's going to be cutting. So that should be okay. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother uh, videotaping this one because then I got to sit there and do all the. Uh, stuff to the video anyway with the long length. So I'm going to let it cut air again. We'll see if it cuts correctly this time.